Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, in this video, we are gonna learn how to install CUDA uh, on Windows. Uh, previously, we have learned how to install on Ubuntu. Actually, it is quite uh, difficult and dangerous comparing to the Windows side, but Windows side is uh, safer and also easier, easier comparing to the Ubuntu side. So let's start. Uh, we are again in the CUDA installation page, and we are going through. First of all, um, we need to go to the uh, this page, which is the download page of the CUDA and here we need to choose Windows this time and here we are gonna choose the architecture and here I suggest you to choose the newest one and here we can choose the local since we are gonna run our local machine on our laptop and here um, the accord, uh, you can download this 2.3 gigabyte uh, installation executable file so I already installed this which is in here we are gonna pass to this part but before that let's go through here because be, before starting always we need to read what is needed so we need to be again uh, careful before directly going to the installation part here are uh, uh, the first thing we need to check the supported uh, GPUs because if your GPU doesn't support CUDA then uh, it doesn't matter you, you install or not so it's gonna be broken at the very end so here, uh, for example, for my case, my GPU is um, RTX 3060, which is in um, a search, which is this one. So uh, it's it supports my GPU, so I can install CUDA. And by the way, I'm uh, downloading the latest version of the um, latest version of the CUDA, which is 13.04 now. And here is the supported GPU page and how you can learn on Windows your uh, your uh, GPU type. Oh, actually, there are some ways. For example, if you go to the PowerShell and uh, if you already have a capable driver for your GPU, if you are running the NVIDIA SMI exe, then it's gonna uh, show the uh, show your GPU but here also yeah it's written here the um, details about your GPU model but uh, the other way is which is the documentation suggests just type this one this is basically I'm gonna open the device manager and here you need to go to the um, display adapters maybe yeah here and it says uh, my GPU uh, model is GeForce RTX 3060 GPU which is on the list on the CUDA supported GPUs list so I can install it easily um, after this uh, there are not many there are some only warnings if your Windows on the update process then you need to wait it first to finish it then after that you can continue your uh, installation CUDA installation other than that uh, nothing more written below so we can directly run our executable just double click Okay, and click yes. So it's extracting the installer. Let's wait a bit. So for now, you just need to check your GPU is supported or not. You need to uh, download the corresponding executable file according to desired version you want. And here you just agree and continue. The recommended one is the better for now for our case next here um actually while trying also we are gonna check it but uh i don't have a visual studio license also i don't want it to use so i just click anyway just i don't want to use visual studio features also now it's preparing for installation uh okay installation in progress this may take time once this is finished see you again um, okay, I got an issue. Uh, actually, I was wrong. So we are closing here. I got some dependency issues because I just followed the uh, suggested installation path. So actually, it was wrong because there are uh, some libraries still it tries to find. So let's fix it together. So I uh, I stuck. I stopped in there, and this time let's choose the corresponding. Um, corresponding libraries by ourselves okay so let's say next here uh, all I need is just 
development because development is already uh, getting the tools compiler which I actually need uh, if you still need other libraries in your case it uh, you had to uh, you had to install those also okay for me for uh, development is okay for now just continue next um, okay next so now it's starting yeah I hope it's gonna finish um, installed 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 it has finished okay so it's already finished even yeah it says now it's installed CUDA and VCC which is we need and other let me check and VCC is good to have mm, okay Kublas also okay it's good so we already have them some actually uh, even we really need some of those libraries we can back and we can uh, choose again we can reinstall so it doesn't matter and for now uh, we are gonna switch to the code part since this is done uh, installation is actually done let's see in the code part um, so we have already installed CUDA but how to test it I already created this simple kernel example a GPU kernel example if we can run successfully this uh, CU file which is uh, like this and if this is running successfully it means we already installed CUDA uh, properly so uh, this is a simple kernel GPU code and this part is gonna run on the GPU side which is gonna simply uh, print uh, hello from GPU on the on the GPU side and this is gonna be the hello from CPU in the CPU side so this should run successfully and how to also the another way which we can at least uh, get an intuition which is from the terminal this terminal we already um, we already opened for before the CUDA installation so in here if I try to type MVCC and trying to press tab I'm now trying to I'm pressing tab now it's not completing to into the MVCC because this terminal uh, since opened from before the installation it cannot recognize MVCC command but if you open a new one since uh, we are assuming we already installed well and I'm typing just MVC and I'm typing MVCC.exe so uh, the the installation package uh, so this is taking this command from the installation package and it, it recognizing it means uh, we already installed properly uh, at least uh, we can get an idea but let's run this example let's open a new terminal and here all I need to do is just go to the um, downloads oops why it doesn't go to uh, cause of this downloads and here uh, my CU file this one is in there so all I need to do is just calling nvcc and uh, CUDA test dot cu and our gonna we are gonna get an executable output which can be like this so let's run this mm. okay in behind it searches CUDA runtime header which we didn't install okay this is a bit annoying sorry for that and let's go to the installation executable again and here um, now i want to choose uh cuda runtime again and let's see after that again okay so we yeah let's see now we should agree custom um okay so previously we have chosen uh, why I cannot select this anyway oops what's going on uh, it's frozen okay I don't want this 
and site documentation so i want runtime now because yeah somehow it needs those also of course i'm i'm wrong previously so let's say next and okay it's gonna install into the program files which is expected so let's may let's wait it to finish it then check it again yes uh sorry for the inconvenience uh since i also in, i'm installing also on the windows side uh not so much uh so at least we are learning together it's good making some mistakes so now we installed also CUDA runtime which is already installed now let's go to the terminal side again and here uh, let's uh, write the command again this CUDA test.cu executable and let's uh, run it and now uh, yeah previously it was giving error now it's uh, completing it and already giving me the output executable like this and by this i can easily uh, run it and it says ah okay so this is also expected because the from gpu side uh, written in the gpu kernel side which is also not seen on the console there are some ways to do that but for now it's not really important so we already at least got uh is uh compiling successfully and also running successfully some uh so we already installed CUDA you can be sure about it we already installed it properly and now um what i want to show is also the environment variables which is you are gonna see uh yeah here for example uh at the beginning we already chosen uh is there still in here not written but in the at the beginning it already not at the beginning but before installing it is asking me where to install this CUDA uh, CUDA package so it's chosen here defaultly and the beautiful part is adding all the system variables uh, by itself automatically and uh, you don't need to do any external thing you can easily run your commands uh yeah this is uh one of the easiest thing on the windows side and the beautiful thing and yeah we installed CUDA now successfully uh, in the next videos maybe we can also um try to run opencv compatible uh try to install opencv compatible with CUDA also um since i uh, i don't know maybe i published those and we see we uh, i mean the cv cuda tutorials before this video so we can also run cv cuda example on the windows side also just to check but for this video at least uh even it's easy we made some mistakes and we fixed together and now uh it's installed successfully and we can run a simple cu example and we also check some other things also you see this is this doesn't require a reboot like on the uh, ubuntu side it directly automatically uh, fetches everything so it's good and thanks for watching and see you in the next videos